Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Forever. This is the ladder. It's low and torrent. In's Revenge is the map. 10x10 map, but uh, always considered more in the 5x5 range. For obvious reasons, there's all of this water. The land portion is very small. So we have a pool in the middle couple small land bridges nine mexes on each side and a hydrocarbon close to the water on the islands we have mobile anti-air radar pgen t2 pd two mexes mirrored on the other side so at some point these become important and you kind of have to send two bombers at once, because the mobile A will kill one. <laughs> Build. Well, you have the hydrocarbon close to you, but not everyone goes for it. If trees here which can be reclaimed, they're in groups, and we have some mass chunks to be grabbed by engineers. Although they're up in the mountains, you can just click on them with engineers. They will. Grab them without too much trouble. Bachi is going three P gens, second land, slow. Also going three P gens, second land. You can see some reclaim here. There's the Q forming. And a PD and a radar at the end to protect this front mechs. Not always done, but quite common to have a PD there and the Hydro being built so you can see they managed to go very low on PGENs because they're getting some power reclaim from trees just a small bit but mostly it's because there's not many mexes to grab you can see the expansion has not really happened yet just the base mex is done so far and soon after the factory we will have... Oh, well, Torn's actually walking away from his. He should probably have finished it maybe with this engineer. Because he walked to the Hydra and now it's finished before he gets there. So, when you make the Hydra... I think you kind of need an air factory to spend the power. He's probably going to waste some. It's low and out. Slightly late on the Hydra, I would say. Bit of a stall there, but... Doing fine, really. Good old ACU doing a dance. As happens when he tries to build something under his feet. So now we have an air factory from Zlo after the two land factories. We're gonna have a third land factory after this. Five PGENs and a Hydro. Not gonna add any more power. He has enough for now. Torrent. Yeah, he's wasting power. This is why people skip the Hydro sometimes, especially if they're going... Well, if you're going air, you should make the Hydro. If you're not going air early, I think you can kind of skip it, make it later. Just delay it a bit. Because it, it does give you a lot of power that you may not be able to use. So ACU for Torn going to the left, he's sending a Selene ahead of him, see what's up. Tanks going to the right. So this is common, you send the tanks to one side, ACU to the other, because the ACU can stop any tanks to come through here. As you can see, this tank tried to get past. It's a small bridge. The ACU can control this quite easily, and then you need to control the other side with tanks. Now, what is Zlo's ACU going to do? Well... We have T2 land coming already, and he's actually adding another land factory. Don't know if he should do that. Wonder if he has mass to actually support that when it's done. I'd be reluctant to add another factory. I'd be thinking more about just assisting this one to get T2 faster. Another power generator being added, and Zlow losing a fight here. A few tanks go down. Leaving reclaim, and he's gonna have to reinforce the right side. 
So I guess this PD is because uh, Slow is intending on going T2 land fast, so he was conscious that he could get raided in this position. He gets a PD up to protect himself from that, and he is stalling now while trying to make this factory. So I think probably maybe a small mistake there from Slow. Both ACUs on the same side now. Trading HP, no tanks in the area, so no real danger of uh, either of them dying. Apache is sort of retreating to the water, it seems. I don't think he needs to. It's a nice radar kill there. Oh, Slow is trying to build an anti air, but I think that engineer is gonna die. He's Unless he dodges, he's not dodging. But the anti air is finished, so that's pretty, that's fine for, for Torrent. Gets the kill on the bomber. So Torrent is finishing his expansion. Could grab some, some of these wrecks here. And he doesn't know that there's a PD here, but he does have an RT with him. So could potentially raid here. If he had vision, still no air factory, just coming up now. And he doesn't know that T2 land is happening. He only knows that there's air. And Zlo has many, many fewer tanks. But Torrent not really taking advantage of it. He's not, uh, he's not confident he has more. He probably should be pushing a bit harder because he knows at least that there's an air factory because of the bombers so that should he well that should lead to an advantage in land numbers for for him as you can see it has but then combined with the knowledge he doesn't have which is the t2 land he definitely has far more at that time but now the pillars are going to come out and pillars fire superior to the T1 tanks of Turin, so sometime soon Turin's army is going to be weaker, but for now it's a bit stronger. But uh, sending a lot of his tanks to the left with his ACU, he doesn't have any T1 radar, which I think is a bit of a bit of a problem. But he is now being aggressive and looks like he can do some damage. Might be able to get some tanks past. You can see he doesn't send all of the tanks. Just gonna try and raid. He probably should send more than one tank because <laughs> it takes a while for one tank to kill a mechs, but uh, he may get the may get the kill. I have some mass in the bank now. You can see engineers reclaiming the area. There is a reasonable amount in in the trees to be grabbed over time. And now, Turin taking quite a bit of damage, and he had spotted the T2 land here, a pillar appeared. Bit dangerous with the ACU now, taking some RT shells. But he has many tanks in support, so... Should be okay if we take a look at Zlo. Ooh, we have three bombers now. And we have five pillars out. See, quite nice micro using the range advantage. On the right side though, he doesn't know what's coming, so could be in trouble if a large army gets into range. T1 versus T2, uh, you gotta try and surround the T2 tanks. The big advantage they have is range. And... Yeah, you have to think of them like comms. When there's in small numbers, you just have to swarm with your with your T1 army, but uh, it's going to be very difficult to actually kill many of these pillars. Except maybe Zui fire. Can do a lot of damage. If they hit, the bombers coming in from the side, aiming at pigeons. We have two pigeons go down there, and the energy surge is going to go down as well. Takes a couple kills with it. That's three bombers dead. I don't. I think that's close to an even trade. I would say. In terms of cost, the bombers are 105 mass. 
And the energy storage is like 250. A couple of pigeons would be 75 each. We look at Torrent's eco. He kind of had a fair bit of fair bit of power. This some other line of pigeons would have been a bit better. You can see he doesn't have many pigeons put together. But oh, look at the damage! One more bomb here, and he could kill three or four or five pigeons. Torrent is. Probably moving to T2, yes, 82%, so he's quite quite a lot slower but uh, to T2, but the pillars haven't actually done that much. Now we have pillars moving in on Torrent's commander, but he has overcharged, he has replaced his energy storage, overcharges two pillars there, gets a vet level, and he should be fine. If he didn't have overcharge there, he could well have been killed by those five or six pillars maybe there there is even more so good reaction to quickly get another energy surge up and now he has t2 land oh two pillars just getting wrecked from outside radar range by the zooies they're so dangerous you look away and the zooies can just Kill your tanks extremely fast. But one thing we don't have is any T2 mechs. So there wasn't much much fighting. Most of the fighting was actually here. Nobody is really able to grab the reclaim. And a lot of it was destroyed by bombers and arties and stuff. So no reclaim. And without reclaim it's kind of hard to eco on this map. Blue pillars. Cleaning this shit up. Doing a good job. Bit of a blind attack here from Zlow and he sees Torn reacting and is retreating. Torn with a pretty still significant army. Zlow has lost a lot of his pillars. Or, well, certainly a few. And so his army is not looking as strong as it could. Now, Scavenging for mass, trying to get this T2P gen up. Already has a T2PD in, in the base. It's a big investment, but keeps him safe from the ACU. Towards ACU is now retreating though. Again, no radar, making it difficult for these pillars, and they may just be suiciding. Where is Torin's army? Ah, he's relocated to the right side. But he may get caught now by this ACU and overcharged. Down goes one. Nearly full health pillar. More damage being put onto the other two. Now Torin is taking damage for this, but he gets another overcharge in. And this pillar almost dies just to the, the normal gun of the ACU. Torrent making interceptors. No bombers. No one taking the sides yet. So that's maybe... Maybe... Well, quite slow. Certainly Zlow could have used uh, used his air to gain that advantage. Get the, get the sides. Because you get not only two mexes, which is a big deal considering the number of mexes you have only. Well, Zlo has eight right now, doesn't have the ninth on his side. But uh, yeah, two extra mexes is huge. Also, the reclaim here, not insignificant. Maybe a T2 max worth of mass in the reclaim. So that's one advantage to making air early on. You can get the map control that's protected by sieves uh, Torin now going for the gun upgrade now now that he's leveled the playing field in terms of land actually has seven Ilshaval that's a very impressive army and he also still has 20 Zooies and 30 T1 tanks so that's pretty nice looking army versus only 11 pillars 
and nothing else for Zlo. Zlo does not have a commander upgrade either. But he is finishing the T2P gen. Now that could allow him... Uh, he is trying to get some eco up now. But this T2P gen will allow Zlo to do anything he wants with his ACU, certainly. And right on cue, finishes T2P gen immediately. Begins the gun upgrade. He will... Should probably just pause his his production. At least one of the T2 factories, probably both. And uh, get the max upgrade and such, and the the gun upgrade certainly. Where is the reclaim? Well, the T1 pigeons are disappearing. He's going to reclaim almost all of them. Because he has the T2P gen, that's going to pay for everything he needs. This is a good fight. Two Ilshavo getting suicided. Look at them getting surrounded. And wrecked. That's very nice mass for him. See, one pillar died, but significant amounts of mass here for his low to grab. Torn finishes the gun. Slow. Can get some mass to pay for his. Should probably manually reclaim those. Getting TMD up in the base now. And actually planning another T2P gen. Slow, Slow could make uh, Nano here. The problem is not the power but the mass in fact. And yes now he... Pauses his production to facilitate the gun upgrade. And yeah, this mech's just about done. Tour not making eco. He's going for the T2P gen. Kind of surprised he's not making eco now. I think it would be... Well, he just has so little mass and he wants to use the gun upgrade. But he has so much less HP. Slow is on full HP. Torn still had not regen much, he's lost so much, and down to 4k now, he has to run into the water to survive. It's low down to 9k, just under 8.5 now, and Torn on 3, so... So we have to see Zlow, I think, come back and fight this army. He has to be able to... Uh, do as much damage as possible with this gun ACU while Torn can't enter the fight. Pillar's trying to defend. There's Zooey's. Zooey's are firing on them. He needs to dodge. One pillar goes down. The second one, look how fast they die. And the Zooey's are so powerful. And that's so many pillars dead. Three, those three pillars that were here all died to Zooey fire. Really, really painful. Just have to constantly be moving them. Another pillar dies. Two on low HP. We could also see bombers sent out to deal with Zooey's. That would be not a bad idea. And now the Ilshavor coming in. There's only eight pillars in this area. We can see the shots of the Ilshis. There's 10 of them around. Torn is just hiding in the in the water. Not interested coming out. Uh, now he begins T2 upgrade. Still no, no T2 max for him. But it looks nice. He has these, oh, these sneaky Zooey's raiding the outside. Looking for every small advantage. Still no one, no one taking the sides. I think it's a big, big error to be honest. Torn should take a leaf out of Zlo's book. Start reclaiming those T1 P gens. Or mass. Zlo doesn't look like he can make use of his commander. Needs to be a bit more aggressive. 
hasn't actually got his first vet level yet. This army is really a big problem and uh, it's very difficult to fight it with pillars versus the far superior range of the Ilshevo. Plus some Zooies, although I think the Zooies are mostly dead. But oh, he could get a very nice surround here and take this army out and get a lot of reclaim. I think he should just run on top of this right now. And uh, yeah, take it out. And the danger is the ACU appearing out of the water for some overcharges. A uh, bit of a miss micro here. These pillars could be on top of the army and kill it, but look, all the Ilshis, their massive HP have survived. And that Miss Micro is actually very painful for his low. That was a, a extremely good fight for him if he had taken it. But as it is now, his army has been reconnected with larger amounts of reinforcements. And now we have so many, so many Ilshivo here. Eight. So yeah, a bit of an overextension by Turner, not not punished. And again, he has this nice position. From here, he can kind of retreat, but uh, slow finally coming in with his ACU in behind. And see just how effective the Ilshevo are. That range doing doing massive damage. How slow is committing. But I think his pillars are going to get shredded. He's just not able to get in and get damage on on these Ilshis. Zui's contributing as well. And that's very, very painful. This is almost all of Zulu's army going down here before the ACU can arrive. So although there's a lot of reclaim left now on Zlo's side, uh, he traded very poorly there. His ace, his uh, his tanks just got melted, barely killed anything other than some thams there you can see. The Ilshi survive and there's now 8 Ilshivo coming straight for Zlo's base and his ACU is still in the other side of the map, other, other side of the army. So they run away from the ACU towards the base. And the pillars are getting melted still. This P gen. Oh, there's two P gens for slow. So losing one still will allow him to survive, but there's still six Ilshavo. Where is the where's the ACU? Oh he's still He's not coming. He's reclaiming. And the P gen goes down. Now TML, TMD being targeted, perhaps? It does survive. Torin's ACU now coming in from the top side after completing his T2 upgrade. He came up here, got some overcharges on pillars, and is now moving towards the base. And I don't think he's going to be stopped. He's going to aim for this T2 P gen. While the pillars still struggle against the Ilshevo. Hiding and just look at look at how fast this pillar dies. Just getting murdered. Two more pillars get overcharged, and the T2 B gen is under attack from this gun ACU. One T2 PD putting out good damage, but it's not enough to deter him. And now the energy storage goes down as well. There's nothing left for slow. Only 40 power income, and that is a killing blow. And Patchy has 12,000 HP on his ACU, T2 and gun, he can retreat to the water. There's no real chance of him dying. Damn, I think, yeah, that should be it now. With only 40 power income, Zlo can't really get back into the game. He doesn't have Rex for the T2P gens to get power from. It's uh, 
It should be done, I think. And Torn made no eco. And risky, risky stuff. If Torn doesn't kill Zlow here, if he doesn't kill all the power as he's done, I think he would be in a pretty dangerous, pretty bad position actually, with no economy. And so I think this came down to just a few, just those battles, those crucial battles and uh, the ACU positioning from Zlow. What he needed was uh, overcharges on Ilshavo and also just some good fights like here when he could take them. But he didn't get those good fights and Zlo throws in the towel now as Torn retreats to the water. There's no subs or Tor bombers or anything to kill him anymore. The base is dead. Not even possible to overcharge. So well played from Torn and Zlow. Just a few mistakes. It was looking very nice. It was looking pretty nice for Zlow. I think he had done well with the economy and got a fair few pillars out. But yeah, this this fight here, he could have killed three or four four Ilshi with very few losses if he had jumped on top of that with the maybe ten pillars he had from both sides and then he would have a much better chance against the reinforcements which are coming and he could also get his ACU over to this side uh, quite a lot sooner I really aim to be chasing after these Ilshavo so if he gets the overcharges Torn is screwed and then yeah we look at the the eco, no eco at all from Torn, no islands either so Torrent got away with it, I think, and, uh, well, took his chance. Nice fights and good attack on the base. See, so he, he only had a small window there to, to attack the base, and he took it. So, well played. GG's. Thanks for watching. See you next time.